Last week, I introduced some of the endocrine organs and the basics, just what they are. This week, we're going to go into more detail on a lot of them and what they do um, in more specifics, what hormones are from produced from them and what those hormones do. And we're going to start with one that's actually not even um, labeled on this. Here's the thalamus. So just below the thalamus is our hypothalamus. And that's what we're going to start with. Um, it's quickly going to be connected to the pituitary gland. And this is probably the most complex endocrine um, organ. It's, so the hypothalamus is in the brain. It's nervous tissue, but it produces neurohormones and connects with really cool circuitry to the pituitary gland. It's probably one of the more complex um, systems we're gonna talk about with the endocrine system. So starting with the bang, um, we get to the thyroid and pancreas. Those will be actually a little bit simpler, um, but actually they connect to that other system. So this is a good way to start because the hypothalamus and pituitary regulate a whole lot of other endocrine glands. So let's zoom into the hypothalamus here. And this in blue is the hypothalamus within this is the sagittal section of the brain. We'll go over this anatomy a bit more in detail, but you can see that the hypothalamus in blue here is connected via this infundibulum to this pituitary gland. This is the pituitary gland. So up here, hypothalamus is where we're gonna briefly start. You might remember the hypothalamus from the fall. It is the master controller of the autonomic nervous system. So we're not gonna, that's gonna come up at the end of this week as we talk about coordinated responses to stress. So the hypothalamus is both, is nervous tissue. It's going to both initiate an autonomic nervous system response. So that's um, through the spinal cord and out the parasympathetic fibers that um, are going to regulate norepinephrine, um, epinephrine and acetylcholine release onto a bunch of target organs via actual neurons, right? Nervous system response. The hypothalamus coordinates that. That's a quick response to stress. The hypothalamus also is going to coordinate a neuroendocrine response via the pituitary. So these, the pituitary gland is then gonna release hormones. This is gonna be our endocrine response to stress that is also important for long-term responses to stress. So the hypothalamus, you might remember, does both these things. Um, the pituitary, however, produces a lot more hormones than just stress hormones. So we'll talk about the pituitary in more detail. But this is one way to start thinking about what you know about the hypothalamus already in terms of an integrator of the stress response. So I want to actually, I think I have a picture here to remind you of that. Here we go. So here's those two different systems regulated by the hypothalamus in response to stress. So this is one example of what the hypothalamus does, it's, it's a big one. Um, we're gonna see other hormones, neurohormones produced by the hypothalamus as well. So first, this is what I just talked about, these nerve impulses that go through the spinal cord and um, result in the adrenal medulla secreting actually hormones. The, what's actually not shown here as well is this actually will connect directly from the spinal cord right to the heart and other target organs as well. Um, so remember the whole autonomic nervous system response. It's not just the adrenal medulla. Prolonged stress, this is that other pathway that we're gonna go into more detail this week. Um, this is one pathway from the hypothalamus to the pituitary to a target organ. This would be the stress response. So let's see, is it written here? Steroid hormones, yeah. So the adrenal cortex is ultimately gonna release steroid hormones. Remember one of those from last week? Cortisol. That's the one that's released in response to stress. 
So we'll get back to the stress response at the, at the end of this week. I wanted to kind of preview with it. It's a nice way to integrate what you know about the hypothalamus already. Um, but we are going to see this hypothalamus pituitary connection. So where we're gonna start, and it's not just these two examples of hormones, but there's gonna be this pattern that you'll see um, of hypothalamus releasing a hormone that triggers the pituitary to release a hormone that targets another organ. Um, and this CRH, ACTH example is one example that we'll see. So we will go next to the hypothalamus pituitary pathways in more specifics.